Your ultimate team returns with new players to try out and review in HUT. We're in Division 2. We're going to be getting rid of Mantha. Throwing in Outdoor Games Crosby, which you guys wanted me to try out. A John Tavares. We'll be putting him on the right wing since he's not a great face-off guy. And I found this mystical beast, Jack Flint, for a thousand coins. He's the tallest goalie in the game. A lot of you guys wanted me to try him out, so we'll see how he plays for me as a 70 overall. This is what my team looks like. If you guys aren't aware of how the series works, is I go through the entire online seasons division, showcasing my gameplay and highlights of the games that I play. I'll point out different moments where the guys that I'm using, the guys that I'm reviewing are doing particular things and when it's time to review them i'll give you guys my thoughts on them tell you how i felt they played give you an idea of how they should play based on their stats if you guys want to suggest any kind of players for me to review on future editions of your ultimate team let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to choose some of them for next week here we go, 51 and 3. Three losses, 51 wins in Division 2. As I'm about to waltz my way over to Division 1. First game's against Canadian Goons. Look at this height comparison. Lundquist a little under the crossbar, while Jack Flynn looks like a giant in front of the net. Don't care if Lundquist was kind of crouching a little bit. Don't worry about it. We're going to start things off with some Tavares footage. We get him the puck, and he just walks right into the offensive zone. Ekman Larson couldn't stop him with that hit. We pass it back to Niedermeyer, who takes a shot at the net, doesn't go in. We intercept the puck and give it right back to Tavares, but the king has his number. Late in the first period, a bad pass gives him the puck, and then he makes a nice pass to Malkin, who's all alone, and he gets by Jack the Giant with my breakaway move, which makes me kind of feel like this guy has seen some of my videos. Something that Jack the Giant was good at is making saves like those that are short side. With Stamkos, we get right by Newmanen, and then cut to the middle, lots of space, lots of room, but Stamkos wasn't able to bury it. Here, we're going to give it right back to Stamkos, who's going to be the playmaker right in front of the net. Lundqvist makes a save, but passes it right back out. And then Stamkos keeps the puck, passes it to Crosby, and then to Tavares, who ends up burying that one. Tavares really enjoying that goal he just scored. Moving on, I like how big Jack Flynn was on these one-timers. Dude doesn't even have to show effort to make this save as he just extends his pad and that's enough to go from one side of the net to the other. One thing he was bad at is making saves like those. Yeah, I don't remember him making any kind of save like that. He's up by one, so immediately right after, gotta get back into this game. And a quick little rebound goal like that lets me do just that. Early in the third, we give this to Stamkos, who's gonna vision control slap shot that straight into the net. No chance for him. Right after, he goes on a power play as I take a penalty, but that's okay, because all I need to do is split the D, go right through everyone. But Lundqvist makes the save on a shot similar to the first goal he scored. More nice pass from him as he enters my zone and rips the twine with an absolute laser. Dying seconds of the game. Thought I was going to get him good with this one timer right in front of the net. Thought it was an empty net. Lundqvist comes up big, but can he do it again? I don't know. As I go around the net, look for the one timer. Don't get it. So then big man burns from the neutral zone. Goes into the offensive zone. We go in again. Mess up that first pass, but get it to the second guy to end the game. Four to three. Great competition from Canadian Goons. Up next are the Magic Mittens. Love that team logo he uses because I haven't seen it before. Crosby's just going to casually give this puck up, giving him the first opportunity of the game as he rushes in with Carlson right through everyone. But I stopped the one-timer from getting through. Carlson comes up again, this time on the right side. We stop him there. We get the puck, and now Stamkos goes in all by himself. He decides to goalie dive me, but I'm not going in down the middle. Sackett can bury the two legends going into the offensive zone. Burry looks around for a pass, gets it back to the point. And then I thought this rebound was going in for sure, but his goalie ends up making the save. Wheeler with a slow and sexy pass to Zetterberg who just can't outskate Ovechkin but that's okay because he just dangled by two guys. The one timer not good enough. Love these series of passes here. Stamkos is going to give it back to Crosby in no man's land. He drops it to Tavares who passes it back to Stamkos and that was so beautiful. Let's watch it one more time. Crosby to Stamkos. I see the player on the top right so I'm going to give this back to Crosby forcing him to try to switch players to stop Crosby. Open man in Tavares and then here I could have taken a shot but then I see Stamkos pushing up on the right so we're going to give that to him and get that empty net.
God damn it, I was so indecisive right there and didn't know what I wanted to do. It took me forever to get that shot off. He gets a nice slap shot that goes off the iron, but it's still 2-0. And then another opportunity right here where he just crashes into my goalie. And I am very surprised my goalie was able to actually fit into that net. More nice passes here. The execution wasn't perfect, but it's exactly what I wanted as I get this rebound goal again to put me up by 3. He's going to try and mount a comeback in the third period as he doesn't want to get goosed against me. 3-0. McDavid cuts across the middle. Easy goal for him. Flynn just doesn't want to make those saves, like I said. Going to get an opportunity for a breakaway right here, but the poke check comes up big. So now going the other way. Four minutes left on the clock. He burns right by my defender. And then three guys go and try to intercept this, but Stamkos all wide open with the one-timer was able to bury that. Thankfully, the rest of the game was mine, as this was the last opportunity of the game with Stamkos missing that one-timer. Up next, we take on the most interesting man in the world. And he starts things off with a series of mistakes right here giving up this puck Crosby takes a nice shot at the net isn't able to go in then we fight for the puck in the corner then Tavares comes in with a one-timer to bring us up by one we give this puck to the lone Burry entering the offensive zone a windmill dig winds up this slap shot empty net but it doesn't go in Crosby coming through a little bit on the slow side but still able to burn by him gets a sweep dig not enough for it to go in as he picks up the puck gets it to Kucherov and then back to Gonchar, who's going to go in all by himself, and that is actually going to go into the net. And then more passes, Zetterberg to Sagan, back to Zetterberg, empty net there as well. Similar idea here, but Crosby's going to show off his uh, shooting accuracy. Misses the net completely, not sure why, when he's got 93 in every stat. Here I was caught with my pants down, probably texting, and uh, he scores an easy goal, that's okay. In return, I score two more, and then steal this puck from him. As I'm going to go in, do this nice little one-handed deke. Goes right by his defender. Get it to Giroux. Back to Kucherov for the one-timer. That goal was spicy. Two shots for him. You might as well quit. You can't. You can't do anything from here. And that is exactly what he does. Up next, Snipe 39 using those pesky swamp rabbits. McKinnon starts it off, gives it to Drew. Four guys on him, still makes the behind-the-back pass to Kucherov. Some vision control. This pass wasn't that great, but we end up getting the puck back. Get it across to Drew again for the one-timer up by one. Here we're going to have mostly Tavares going in along the right side, gets by the first guy, cuts to the middle, the shot doesn't go in, we lock down the passing lane, causing him to take a detour, which we intercept the puck, Stamkos misses the shot, but Crosby's going to get it right back, and Stamkos tries again and finds its mark through the tunnel of Tavares' legs. Tavares, still a young guy, probably would not want to go without testicles. Because of that, it's a good time to review him, I'd say. 91 overall, Ice Tavares, you could probably pick him up for under 10k at this point. And let me preface this by saying that I hate Tavares in the NHL video games. I don't know why, but they make him so damn slow. It just makes me never want to use him. Right here, 87 acceleration, 87 speed for a 91 overall. That's pretty terrible. Thankfully, he has rocket skates, so we give him an extra plus two acceleration and speed on top of any kind of team synergies we added on to, and we have Silky Smooth and Thread the Needle to bring up his total skating to 92, which is, well, usable. Again, I could feel he wasn't the fastest skater on my team, but it wasn't that bad. Skating's kind of the weakest part of his game, and so when you look at his shot, his puck handling, his physicality, his defense, they're all really good, which means he's a great asset to have in the offensive zone when you're cycling the puck around or you want to get some dirty dangles through your opponent's defense but going from coast to coast with johnny t probably isn't the way to go i still enjoyed using him however as he turned out to be better than i expected remember though you do not want to have him as a center guy in the game he's got 84 faceoffs. you just have much better options on the center for the price like Giroux, who's got a face-off stat in the 90s now when it comes to having him as a right wing I just feel like there are better options available to you cards that are significantly faster but may not be as good physically if he's your favorite player i say he'll work on your team but it'll probably be better to have faster guys on your squad right after stamkos is wondering where his review is does it kind of look like his eyes are closed this whole time does he even have eyes i have no idea back to the game we're still in the first period by the way as burns is going in all by himself gets stopped by the opposing burns but gets the puck back who gives it to stamkos who closes his eyes to take that shot but it goes in stamkos doesn't need eyes what are you crazy 
He's got hockey sense. Up next, the royal family takes me on. The royal family of grizzly bears, of course. Breakaway from me. Puck's going towards the net, and it doesn't go into the net. Deep in his zone, waiting around, looking for someone to pass to. Oh, hey, here comes Sakic, who takes a slap shot. Doesn't go in either. Because this goalie was uh, making every save, it appears, I had to just hit him with a little move like this. And that goes into the net. The behind the back no look shot by Shifley. Mm, he wanted to see the replay. There he goes seeing the replay because he didn't want to skip it. After that, things open up a little bit more as Stamkos was able to take that easy shot. Easy goal. And then one more to top it off. Tavares going in. Does not get bumped off the puck. And Tavares to Crosby. Crosby ends up burying it. From here, we move on to Jack Flynn, six foot eight. Bishop is six foot seven in the game, so he's an inch taller, 234 pounds, playing for the AHL's Ontario Reign. I've had a few requests to use a goalie like this, and I've been looking since like the second week of this series to find him, buy him, and use him. This guy's never on the auction house, but I was able to snap for a thousand gold coins, which is a steal because you could probably sell him for like 20K if you really wanted to. Though EA might ban you for that. EA is going to be like, oh, you're trying to sell 70 overall? He doesn't go for 20K, you idiot. So yeah, watch out for that. And Flynn surprised me quite a bit because a lot of people seem to believe that overalls don't really matter on a goalie. And Jack Flynn... Uh, kind of prove that he played really really well, but it could just be due to his size six foot eight Imagine a 99 overall six foot eight goalie. I think that would just be unstoppable He had trouble against those shots where people cut across the middle Sometimes he wasn't fast enough on the one-timers and sometimes he wasn't good enough on the breakaways But outside of that I thought he played really solid better than well the other goalies that I've used so far And out of all the goalies that I've used so far I would definitely keep him around if I wasn't switching up goalies to review every week One concerning thing about him is uh, he's got two points in really bad synergies Having two points in uh, in a goalie is not good enough to begin with And then you add on to the fact that those are the two bad synergies makes it kind of bad in that category but I think he was solid and only gave up like one bad goal throughout all these eight games that I play there was also a lot of times where I thought he bailed me out quite a bit with a really long lunge of a desperation save which I couldn't find the clip of in these eight games but definitely expect him to make some clutch saves give him a shot if you want to but we move on to Hillary Clinton making that owl face right there Crosby steals the puck to start this playoff. Stamkos goes to his favorite spot right here. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. That's okay. Tavares is going to win the puck back. Another one-timer. Sakic isn't able to bury it. Pass it back to Tavares, who's going to pass to Stamkos, and that doesn't go in either. Three quality opportunities on his goalie. His goalie comes up big. You know, until he doesn't when Crosby buries that one-timer. So this was stupid. The guy gets it, he loses it, and we just give it right back to him. And this was the bad goal that I think Jack Flynn probably probably should have had back get this redirect looks like it's going into the net turns out it doesn't lots of speed for him as i don't know what i was doing with my defender there i off to take away the passing lane he goes in like a breakaway ends up scoring and going up by one he's being patient in the defensive zone lindstrom's gonna have none of that watch it one more time as i make him do a little dance with this hit i feel like i should i should be putting on some spanish music right now cycling it around on the power plate burns not ready for that pass for some reason but that's okay because it's nothing but net these passes were also pretty disgusting too. Look at how I protect the puck after receiving the pass. First with Zetterberg right here. Another pass to the left. See the open man Curry doesn't go in. Curry waits it out a little bit over here before passing it to Zetterberg for another empty net. Ends up being 6-2. to two. He has 6 shots. He has no chance. He's out of here. The zigzags are up next. And yeah, those are zigzags. Fight me. Crosby's gonna blow your mind on this play. First the one-handed deke, and then between the legs right after, but he's not able to bury that breakaway. I'd say it's a good time to review him, because he played really well. You heard me say his name countless times. You saw him score a bunch of different goals, assist on a lot of different plays. This master set card currently goes for 140000 Since the set is now over, expect his price to increase over the coming weeks. What really makes him special is the 93 face-offs which not a lot of cards can say that they can beat that's why i prefer this card to the ice card despite the fact it's significantly more expensive he's got a lot of synergy points which means if you activate those synergies with this card it gives you a lot of room to put pretty much any kind of cards that you want 
and they don't have to contribute to those synergies. When you activate the team synergies, most of his stats increase to 96, which I think would make shooting his weakest point because none of his shooting stats can be increased by synergies. If you activate his protect the puck synergy, agility can go up to 98, in addition to hand, eye, and puck control. So he's solid on the puck, solid defensively, but he'll probably miss the net a lot more than you expect. All in all, if you need a player that can fill up a lot of synergy points for you, I would highly recommend him. Back to the game as we cycle this one around, passes it to the middle. His goalie cheats to the left. That's an easy one-timer for Stamkos. And then the game ends. Yeah, that wasn't that exciting of a game, honestly. Rainbow Six Siege, a great game you guys should try out. I'm not being sponsored by them, but... It's a great game, and I would highly recommend if you like tactical-based shooters to check it out. Flynn again with those short side saves that don't seem to be going through him. His goalie in this game liked to be on fire, as here's one cross crease that Shifley's unable to bury, or his goalie was just being a god. Then to Sakic, across again to Bure, and another amazing save. Here comes the third one. If that one didn't go in, I swear someone was going to be thrown out the window. I would try to make it his goalie, but I don't know. Tavares to Crosby again, like it always has been throughout this video. Easy goal for them. This goal is also a little bit surprising because he shot to the left, but it wasn't that bad. It was still a one-timer. With Tavares, I try to do a fancy deke and the game freezes. So now I have no idea what's about to happen and it doesn't let me finish the deke. That's lovely. Whatever, however, as we end up winning the Division 2 title, this was the last game, we swept the whole season to be 59-3 and to enter Division 1. That was, uh, yeah, those stats, we don't have to talk about those stats. Let's open up the Division 2 title reward pack, see what's inside, nothing, like always. Those Division title reward packs will probably never have anything good in them. So that'll do it for this week's Your Ultimate Team. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll see how I do in Division 1 with this record.